have a drunk driving third offense. Okay, and I set a bond for you. And I don't know if you think the rules don't apply to you, but they do. You were told at the time of your arraignment that you were going to hear from my probation department. Don't look clueless to me, like you're, it's exhausting me already. You were told that you had to test. You had to be subject to drug and alcohol testing. My probation department tried to reach you where I need a calendar. What day was he here last week? We were last Monday, Your Honor. So Monday, you were here on Monday and you were told that and my probation department spent days trying to get a hold of you so that you could go test. And they knew phone who dis? I came here to answer I'll right. just finish first and we have time yet. So. No. There's no, like right now, I, we spent, set this, basically we can call it a PCC, we can call it whatever we want, but if you're not gonna follow my bond conditions, you're gonna go sit in Wayne County Jail, period. It makes, I go home at five. And if, you, and if it's too hard for you to do what you're supposed to do out on bond, you, sir, I have zero. It, quite frankly, I think I'm protecting the people of the state of Michigan by having you sit at the Wayne County Jail. Because I know you're not going to drink and drive and kill anybody. If you can't follow my bond conditions, you're going to county. All right. Now, Mr. Zelda, has he has he talked to probation at all yet? Do you know? Have you been there and have you tested? Two or three times. And apparently he's gotten fingerprinted over at state police. He's been there twice. All right. So let's... I came to visit the court last week, I believe it was Tuesday, to explain that I thought he had to go into rehab and that he was having surgery for cancer. I got in contact with him. Finally, his sister-in-law, may I have them come forward just so you know that you I'm may. not making this up? Both you folks, come on up here. I'll ask them to identify themselves from the record because I forget which one's related, which one's related to America. Oh. So. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Brother and sister, all right. Oh, yeah. and you got to take your head off. Sorry, sir. Good you can only wear a hat if you're like under 30 and you wear it backwards, and then you still got to take it off. So give your names, Judge, ma'am. Joanne Lebedjewski. Sir. Andrew Lebedjewski. All right, so we got family here. Judge both contacted me to tell me that they thought he was seriously declining because of alcohol, that he was suffering from bladder and kidney cancer. He's supposed to have surgery before he's accepted into rehab. He's having surgery on Friday at Caramonis. Is that correct? Well, one of you has to answer. Give your name when you answer so we know. Yes, uh, he, Robert's having surgery on Friday. Um, I'm not sure of the entire procedure. It's a scope kind of procedure. Okay. Uh, and yeah. I don't think there's any denial that he suffers seriously from alcohol disease. Would you agree, Robert Lebedjewski? Yes. And once we made contact, he explained he'd been to the state police to try to get printed. They told him to come back. And I don't know where he missed the connect about contacting probation, but apparently he finally has In fact, his color came up again today. So okay. there is a disconnect. It's probably damage to damage brain cells for years and years of exercising through alcohol. Would you agree, Mr. Lebedjewski, that you spent a lot of time destroying brain cells by drinking? Yes. And he destroyed his health, too. He lost his job, it appears, because of drinking. And this is that halcyon moment or the Brigadoon moment where he's either going to make a change, spend time in jail, or die. And I'd ask the court, what we've suggested here is that the bond condition conditions continue that the court permit him to have surgery and if he's accepted into the rehabilitation which would be inpatient to we'll come back and advise the court that's for continuance with the pcc this matter is going to be resolved your honor if you, if you ever read the police report you see what a silly case this is he was sitting in a lawn chair on the side of the freeway after he rolled his car and the state police came this is an old no. aaron karen aaron or kelsey I believe Aaron okay um we're gonna talk to Aaron and see because I if the silver link I don't know what the minimum is on it but he can keep that until he comes back well I know they complain about an alcohol tether when you go in for surgery they well he's not on tether is he right now no he's not I mean that's another he possibility there are two possibilities but I can't certainly... put him on a tether right before surgery I mean they're just gonna want it off no and your honor there's uh there's that company that the probation officer from Livonia, Elaine, 
runs that's out somewhere on the other side of town that comes out and sets you up with your sober link and I can give that number to the probation department. There's a company that can do it. They would come down and give it so there's no running out to any other offices. Okay. Well, Actually, I think I could come and if they call me. I mean, it's just up two stairs. It's foolishness, Judge. No, no. I'm going to adjourn the PCC two weeks. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to have probation come up and figure out what they can do with the silver link. And I want to know about when he can come back to testing. If he's excused on Friday to do, you know, whatever, if he's able to get up and ambulate, and get around, then he needs to come back and start testing then. But he can have the silver link until then. Um, and we'll adjourn the PCC for two weeks. And I guess when he's out, if you're so you're looking for a bed, tell them you sure. know where you're going. Yeah, share house. Sure, sure house. Okay. She told me that they bring me in as soon as I get the results from my surgery because they don't want to take anybody that's sick or needs ambulatory because they don't want to ship you back right. out. Okay. <clears throat> so we should know something by next Wednesday, right? Yes, I think so. Even Tuesday. Okay. Well, I don't have a state prosecutor here except for Monday, Mr. Zellmerich. Well, we'll bring in a result Monday. I'll ask the Just, family to contact me. What what I need, they're here. They're not parties to this case, but I'd like their assurance on the record that they're the brother and sister that they're going to provide me with updates so I can bring them into the court next week. Yes. And when he's released. Okay. Yes. And I gave the information for Chair House to my probation officer. She she All right, me. we're going to get her up here real quick. We could just sit, have a seat. I'm going to need her up here, and then we'll figure out. If, I mean, it's Aaron. If she's just up here, we can all talk about what what we're doing. You okay, so we could just have a seat real quick. Yeah. Thank you. And let me just get her up here. Take a seat. So <clears throat> while you're making your way up, I'm just going to... Um, Give a brief synopsis. We had a Brent, uh, bench conference with the probation department, Mr. Zelnick. All right. And we're trying to come up with a solution that holds you accountable, um, but also accommodates the fact that you're about to have a procedure. All right. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to go downstairs to probation when we're done. Aaron's going to get at least make a call and tell you what you need to do to get your sober link. Sober link is like a breathalyzer device, and we're going to let you use that. And you're going to start, you're still testing until Friday, unless on Thursday you've got to do some sort of prep I don't know about. But you're going to start using the sober link on Friday until your doctor releases you. If the doctor says you're good to go back to your life on Tuesday, you're supposed to start coming back in person to test, but we'll at least cover that time frame and make sure you have a device on him. Obviously on Friday, he's not gonna probably be testing at all, but, and then we're gonna adjourn this out two weeks, so two Mondays from today. Which was and, the original date, the 18th. Cool, okay, there you go. And sir, there's a release that you can sign if you're so inclined that'll allow your family to talk directly to Aaron your probation officer. So you don't have to, if you're in the hospital and someone needs an update or to let her know that share house is available or whatever, if you sign the release, she can communicate with them directly. Okay. okay. What indulgence, your honor, in the event he gets placed in share house within the next week or so, may I present a step to adjourn the PCC because it'll be practical and improbable to get him here for a PCC on the 18th in the event he's inpatient. Yeah, just I'll notify the prosecutor. Just before. note, yeah, just Thank let you. us know. Okay. All right, understand what's going on? Yes. Family yes. understand what's going on? Yes. All right, very good. Jim. All right, you're all we'll set. Take it downstairs, have him sign the waiver for Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Thank so, you. So are you trying to adjourn? So you don't have the police report from the 0082, is what you're saying. I do not, Your Honor. We, have, As far as I can tell, within our file, I don't have any discovery yet. It may have been transmitted and not uploaded yet, but as far as I can see, we do Your not Honor, have. it appears that we just received the discovery request from the PD's office this morning, so I believe okay. they'll be sending it shortly. March 25th, which is about three weeks out. That should be fine, Your Honor. Andrew, I don't feel like 
respond. You may, you can go ahead. I request that Mr. Overby be permitted to be released inpatient treatment on a GPS tether pending the resolution. Ms. McDuffie? So, Your Honor, <clears throat> I'm going to, in this case, um, actually object to that. And it's, I understand that that is the request. And it was, I think, a, at least a provision in the report that Mr. Overby could be released only to inpatient on GPS tether. My concern is that Mr. Overby, first of all, is in an extremely dangerous situation, not only for himself, well, for others, um, given this report that I understand Mr. Lebo hasn't reviewed yet. But um, Mr. Overby is drinking to such an extreme extent that I am very uncomfortable with essentially um, watching him kill himself. And he has, one of the issues with his violation is that he was not honest and left his treatment and um, wasn't honest with anyone, especially the treatment center itself um, in, in terms of telling Don Farm what he needed to do and why he needed to leave treatment and immediately went back and had a very high BAC right after that. So Mr. Overby has been through treatment um, multiple times, inpatient treatment as well. I don't believe that he can be trusted to go um, on a release to treatment. I don't know if Mr. Overby is in the habit of cutting tethers, um, but I think regardless of that, he I think he has shown us where he is. Um, and I think that he needs to stay in custody and do down farming jail at this point, because I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, quite frankly, if he's released. It hasn't, it hasn't worked this far. I don't know why the next time will be any different if he's released at this point. Thank you. Any response? Yes, Your Honor. I think that, well, I certainly appreciate Mr. McDuffie. I think it would be best for him to have the opportunity to complete the Because in any event, given the recommendation of this matter, Mr. Overby will be in custody for no more than three months. And certainly we ideally would want him to be in a better place at the end of that time, one way or the other. Well, I wholeheartedly agree with the defense that we want him to be in a better place at the end of this. However, at this point, he's not at that place and he's nowhere near that place. He um, he, he needed medical in intervention. That's more than all the allegations of what he did while he was in that place he's in right now. He's not ready. I agree with the prosecution and I'm not letting him out just yet. We'll talk about it again to see if he gets closer to being there when we come back the next time. Yes, Your Honor. Did I, yeah. request a, did I request an earlier court date? No. I discontinued. I'll see you on March 25th. Mr. Oldby, you should think about what you can do and how you want to be different. Because this is going to land you in jail for a long time if you don't fix it. So she's been she's been discharged. We're here to see if she has completed her community service or, or paid. Uh, Ms. Murdoch, uh, Ms. Murdoch I believe she submitted a financial hardship form to the court. I, I already granted her the permission to do community service or pay. That's so we're here to see if she's that's my understanding. I wrote that down when we were here before that she was complete community service or pay. Oh, I must have misunderstood you because I asked you last time, Your Honor, if I uh, wasn't able to com uh, complete the community service. I'm finally employed. Um, I've took care of one of the warrants that you kept addressing uh, every time we came to court. I've been in touch with Oak Park. I paid thirteen hundred to Ann Arbor. Uh, Oak Park said to give them five hundred dollars. So when I get paid, I'm going to give them that, and that would uh, disappear that warrant, and I'm able to get put on a payment plan this go around because I am employed now. Okay. Proudly, I just got off work at six thirty this morning. I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> All right. How much can you pay per month? 
Um, can we do 25 just to keep it at a base minimum so I don't get myself because I, I just got to play. I really don't understand this. Everybody can come here and they say, I paid Lincoln Park $1,300. Well, like, um, Miss Washington, <laughs> you was on my behind about them warrants. Every time we talked, we really didn't discuss the case half the time. You're like, you need to take care of them warrants. And I did that, Miss Washington. Okay. All I right. did what you asked of me, madam. Okay, so that, that's the you. Okay. Please give me a little break this morning. I'm so <laughs> tired, girl. I just got off work. I, I pushed 10 hours, 12, 12 and a half. Actually. Let's be clear. I'm tired, girl. Please, ma'am. All right. I, I Please stick to this payment plan, Ms. Murdoch. I will. I promise you I will. You won't see me no more. I'm going to pay it. I don't want to pay it, Miss Washington. My son's <laughs> father, this was a big mess. But he done got served, so I'm going to take the money he's paying for my son and pay this off. I promise okay. you. All right. What day of the month? Um, Whatever. It doesn't matter, ma'am. All right. Let's make it the 15th. Okay. No worries. All right. And then I'll see you back here. Are we here on June? What we got to come back for now, Miss Washington? June 19th. One moment. I'll tell you that in one second. So, yes. June 19th, 2024, at 10 o'clock a.m. for review to see if you're actually making your payments. Okay. If yes, you are ma making your payments, then you don't have to be here. We look online and see that you're making them. If you're yes, not making them, then you need to be here to explain me why. To explain I, why. I won't have to explain nothing, I promise you, madam. All right. Well, thank you. Have a wonderful day, Miss Washington. Your hair looks pretty too, Miss Lady. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Yes, ma'am. Right. Bye. 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 Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Please state your name. Edward Johnson. Good morning, Your Honor, Mr. Barnett. Good morning. It's been a while since we've seen you. It looks like you're trying to get it together here. You've been missing a couple of tests, and so I'm outside of your testing window, but I'm sure you're going to get that right, right? Yes, um, that one I talked to him this morning, and he said he didn't tell y'all the one that was missed. It was a malfunction. He said it wasn't my fault. He said he still had to put it in. He okay. said I'm all good with him because I did. I have not failed any. I just overslept twice. Okay, but he said I was doing really good though. So let's try to not oversleep. Okay, set an alarm so you can make sure you test properly. Okay. Yes, I got my alarm set on my phone. Right. Okay, yeah. good. And you need to complete the ARM um, course, okay? As, as to the ARM course, the LEAD program is helping him with payment for that. Okay. So that's, that's what's going on with the ARM course. Very good. So you're doing pretty good here, Mr. Uh, Edward Johnson. I'm very happy to see that. I was worried for you. Thank you so much. And one thing about um, your painting starting to pick up, but I didn't get the job because of my license, the the caretaker. But they said if you, they said the Secretary of State said they're fine to get my restricted license. If you can waive the forty five dollar fee, they said I can get the restricted license. No, 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 Mr. Johnson. I believe it's if you can, if the judge will allow you to pay the clearance fee, the yeah, forty five dollars. Yeah, that's what I, that's that's, that's what, what we're I was asking. trying to say. Yes. Yes. Okay, if the judge will allow you to pay the clearance fee, then you can... Yeah, that's why I, I, re I worded it wrong, I'm sorry. We're asking the court if you can be allowed to pay the clearance fee. Yes. Um, I think we also need an update addresses. No, that's... um. I go for... Um, right. You know, I'm still... I don't, I don't want you to put the address online. That's why I'm stopping you. Um, we, We're going to ask... Do you know how to use the chat feature? No, you don't. Okay. Um, Miss White, do you have his address? We need his address before he leaves. Let me see. No, I'm almost still. Still on. Yes, you're still on. No, I still I'm still homeless. Oh, you're still homeless. Yes. I, I get um today I go on three. I got with Bill and Bill, I got three different um places to look at today. I got okay. um. All right. It's been that's why it's been so hard without my license. I just it's been really, really hard. 
All right, I'll put in here, you can buy your SOS, okay? If that is the case and it's gonna get your license back, you can pay the $45. Thank you so, oh my God, thank you so much. Your, the, your next right. review in this particular case, um, I'm gonna bring you back because I wanna see you myself. So I'm gonna bring you back for your next review. I'll see you back here on June 5th. Okay. 24 at 10 o'clock, okay? All right, thank you so much. All right, you're and, welcome. And the last, the last lady made me mad because she she got to say something about your hair before I did. Oh, <laughs> it, look, it does look flawless. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank, thank y'all, okay. thank you too, Mr. Barnett. I appreciate you, Judge. <laughs> you're welcome. Take care, thank Mr. Thank you, sir. Okay, y'all have a good day. Thank you. You too. You bye too. bye. Bye bye. Good morning. If you're Rachel McDuffie for the people. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perry on behalf of Mr. Ajay Akbai. Sir, can you please um, turn on your camera? Oh, we're sure. Yeah. All right, thank you. Ms. McDuffie, good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Always a pleasure. I'd like to disqualify myself for um, filling in for Ms. Barroso on whatever that date was. <laughs> wow not that i don't want to you know come visit you, but just, I, you don't want to see us no i do i just don't want to have to work oh, okay all right okay well <laughs> it's my day off blood about that all right <laughs> straightforward okay all right what, what are we doing on this so not to cause too much stress on miss mcduffie I'm just, Honor, I believe this is going to be a dismissal. So. It's really? Oh, wow. Miss <laughs> Dunn <laughs> can come back all she wants. All right. Is is that a correct statement, Miss McDuffie? Well, I'll put a few more words on the record about that. Yes. Um, she does trying to help me out too. Wednesdays are my day off. It's, it's, a, it's a group effort. So <laughs> yeah, I know this is all about you. Is this case being dismissed? It is, Your Honor. So I did receive sufficient documentation to show that Mr. Um, I'm not going to mess his name up. So I'm going to say that counsel's client has um, resolved the issue with the Soberlink device. It appears that it is currently in service. He's in he's in good standing, at least as to the possession of it. I won't speak to the actual results coming out of it, but um, there does not appear to be an issue with an intentional deprivation of judicial services groups property in this case. And so I will leave that to his probation in the 15th district court um, to address any further issues if there are any, but I'm um, happy to dismiss this matter because the possession dispute has been resolved. That objection, this case is dismissed. That's without prejudice. All right, thank you. And thank you for coming in on your day off. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. Take care everybody.